Hi everybody, welcome to the British Trucking Channel. My name is Dave and in this video I'm going to show you five great items to get you set up watching TV in your truck. If you're new to the channel and would like to subscribe, it would be great to have you on board. Also, if you would like to see future trucking videos, press the bell icon to be informed of any future videos that I make. So, let's get started. Five great items to get you set up watching TV in your truck. Okay, item one. It's obviously a TV. But before deciding on a TV for your truck, you need to think about where you can place the TV in your truck when you're on a night out. Determine what size TV you need so that it'll fit into your truck comfortably. And a good size TV would be approximately 16, 20 inches. So you can position it easily and also you can store it away easily when it's not in use. Something like this one. This 16 inch TV would be perfect in any truck. Uh, it's made by Cello. Also, if you're interested in any of the five items I'm going to show you in this video, they're all available on the British Trucking website. I'll leave links in the description below if you want to check them out later. Okay, so that's the TV covered. Let's take a look at item number two. Item two is a handy device if your TV happens to come with a cigarette socket power lead which uh, many travel type TVs do these days. The only problem you have is many of them are 12 volt leads. So if you only have a 24 volt socket in your truck, this item will allow you to step down from 24 volts to 12 volts. This is a Roy Pow step down converter and with modern TVs being low wattage and also low ampage, this will work great. If your TV is mains powered, then you will need to go on to item number three. So let's go and take a look at that one. Okay, item three is a power inverter, which you can plug into the 24 volt socket in your truck, and it will allow you to plug in a device that's 240 volts. This example is a 1000 watt power inverter, which will be plenty big enough to power your TV. This example has two power sockets, which makes it perfect for powering up multiple devices in your truck. With that in mind, I now want to show you item 4, which I recommend you should use when setting up your TV. Let's go take a look. Okay, item 4 is a TV aerial booster. I use one of these all the time if I'm setting up a TV in the truck. This one is an antiference TV signal booster. Before I purchased one of these, I struggled to get more than a few channels in some parts of the country. Um, really frustrating when you have your TV all set up, only to find that you have a poor quality reception. Uh, it's very easy to set up and can simply plug into a socket on your power inverter and work basically the same as a signal booster does in your own home. Um, all we need now is item 5, so let's go and take a look at that one. Okay, last but not least, item 5 is a powerful but small mag mount digital aerial. This is a Neckvox aerial, and this is what I use to get a signal in my truck. Uh, it has a long cable, which means you don't struggle to mount it on top of your cab. Plugged into the signal booster, it works really well and I can normally get in the region of 80 to 100 channels in my truck um, in most places. So that's all there is to it. Five great items to get your truck TV set up. And uh, let's just go through them. Number one, a TV. Number two, a 24 volt to 12 volt step down converter. Number three, a power inverter. Number four, a signal booster. And number five, a mag mount digital aerial. 
If you would like to see me setting up a TV in a truck, I've made a video of me doing this, so you can go and check that out. And if you found this video useful, then I would appreciate a thumbs up. And I'll be uploading more videos soon, so thanks for watching, and bye for now.